How's it going guys? So, I finally got a chance to go out again. I came up with an ingenious idea. I allowed my daughter to push the boy. <laughs> you know? That way, I could ride and uh, they could come out. You're right, say hello. What's up? Say hello, Ash. Hello. This is the EXN. Let's do a quick first impression. Mm -hmm. Woo. Wow. Yes. Feels great. Feels great. Ah. Oh. Feels fantastic. Uriah. <laughs> He's looking at me like, why are you doing that? Why aren't I doing that? Oh boy. Mm. Much easier to, much easier to, uh, how do you call it? Cause the motor to slip. I'm guessing because it's a little bit heavier than the high speed MSP, of course. You know, the high speed MSP is not a torque wheel but it definitely has a lot more torque than this. I wouldn't be able to quickly um, cause the motor to slip as easy as I am here. Maneuverability is good. Oh yeah. Oh, so one more thing is when I first got this wheel, I felt that the pedals were a little too low because every time I turned, the dip was insane. Like the dip was very peculiar. I never experienced that before in a Gotway. Maybe the Tesla, that was it. And so I felt that and I was kind of disappointed. I was like, are you serious? Do I have to deal with this right now? So then I went into the EUC World app and there was this feature called lateral pedal tilt. Lateral tilt. And uh, there are three options. Wait, I think it's high, medium and low. Yeah, high, medium and low. So, yes, jumping is nice. So, wow. It's actually not that bad. I love it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't show you. Let me show you guys. Oh, oh, see, this is what I meant. But this is okay. This is fine. This is not a pedal tilt. This is not a pedal dip. Sorry, forward. This is just the pedal being low. Um, but yeah, this is what I was doing. Very simple. This is awesome. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes. But uh, once I changed the pedal, a lateral tilt to high or soft, I don't remember what it was, one of them, um, or low, no, was it? I don't remember, man. It was a counterintuitive. Either way, that setting prevents the wheel from tilting, the pedal from dipping forward on a turn. So I couldn't do this before. Before I could not do this without the pedal dipping. Now I can. So, yeah. Speed is good, obviously. I've ridden it before, you know, and speed is not an issue. <laughs> speed is no issue. -y. Let me see if I can catch up with these guys. But yeah, speed is no issue with this thing, obviously. Whew. Whoa. I'm trying to treat it like my high speed MSP, but. That's going to take me a little while. Anyway, the lateral tilt right now is low, so it's counterintuitive. If you don't want any pedal dip, put the um, lateral tilt to low. And if you want pedal tilt, then you put it on high. But I'm loving this wheel because of that. Because the pedal tilt, pedal dip is not so bad. Oh man, I need a bigger tire though. The tire is nice, don't get me wrong. Wow, I didn't realize this place had water. Uh-oh, but good thing I have a mudguard. <laughs> I got my mudguard. Yeah, man, AliExpress, baby. Got my mudguard. You run, are you running? Oh, he's coming to me now. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah, man, this is, this is great. The, the, what I'm dealing with right now is mostly the weight. It's a little heavy. Um... Not crazy heavy. I feel like it's more like 10 to 15%. Maybe that's too much, but I just feel like it's, it's a bit heavy. My, my initial impression is that it's at least 10% heavier because it's not impossibly heavy. It's just heavier. But 
it feels better than with that knobby tire I had earlier. That's for sure. Now, how can I, how's the agility? Can I play with it? Yes. Oh, muscles, my muscles, my muscles. Oh, I, I feel like I'm working hard right now. Oh, there we go. We got the motion going. Good, good, good. Woo! But I'm still experimenting with which tire is the best. Um, this tire is great, but it just looks out of place, to be honest. It looks a little bit thin from my perspective. This is my perspective. So it looks a little thin. I want it to be a little bit wider where it kind of takes up a little bit space between those that uh, between the shell. Also, I need better pedals because I realize I can slip off very easily, mostly because these um, sandpaper thing I'm a GK, the grip tape is not that great. Remember, this is used, so whoever had it used it up. But yeah, this is the acceleration. Let's try the acceleration. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Acceleration is not bad. It's not horrible. But I need more time to get used to this, for sure. I need more time. Oh, just touch the pedal. Uriah. <laughs> oh man, this is great. I love it. Yeah, so that's it guys. Just just a quick first initial impression of the wheel <sighs> compared to when I had it on the knobby. Feels fantastic. I love it. I love it. You know, it's an MSP upgraded. That's for sure. I agree with one of my commenters. This is an MSP upgraded. <sighs> but I haven't ridden in a while and I do feel tired and my leg muscles, that's for sure. Hi. Hey. A lot of glass over here. Let's see if I can turn in this little spot. How can you do it? Come on, oh, oh gosh, ah, I think I got scared. Why do I get scared? There's grass right there. Just go over the grass. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a while to get used to this for sure. <laughs> like used to it the way I want to ride. Like the last time I had this in New York, um, I rode normally. I wasn't trying to do anything crazy or anything like that. So when I get to that point, I'll be very happy. But that's going to take a while. Oh, look at all this glass. Nice. Guys, see you later. I will do a further review on this when I get the chance. Peace.